What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Ivory Scott, and you rocking with Next Level Podcast. Keep it locked. Welcome to Next Level Podcast. But before we get into this amazing interview, I would like to shout out our team, Naya Sky, creator and executive producer, Emma J, producer, Jeremy Hart, producer and audio, and Swain, videographer. Now, let's enter the Sky Lounge. Welcome to Next Level Podcast, where we bring you the latest in hip hop and the culture, straight from the Sky Lounge. I'm your host, Ebony Francis, and you already know here at Next Level Podcast, we got the most exclusive interviews with your favorite celebrities. So sit back, relax, and get ready to take it to the next level with my boy, Ivory Scott. Ivory hey. Scott, Ebony and Ivory. Ebony and Ivory. Hey. It's, never been, it's never been done. <laughs> It's like, no, nah, we're not even going to do that. So, <laughs> we got a songwriter. We got a new single coming out. We got a lot to get into, but let's get into our random question of the day. All right. All right. So, tell me a story behind one of your tattoos. Mm. One of your many tattoos. Damn. Okay. So, I got a, I got a tattoo on my hand. Where? Let me see. Uh, let me see. Let me right see. there. It's a swan and my sister's name, Kim. Okay. My sister actually passed away in 2018. And, um, but the, when she passed away, you know, like it woke me up. I was like doing construction before, you know, when she passed away. So she's never seen any of my success, anything, but she's been my motivation. You know what I'm saying? So my most special tattoo on my left hand, oh, cause I'm left handed. Right. And you are left handed. Yeah, yeah, He's a talented so, young man. Yeah. Shout out to Kim. Rest in peace. So we're going to get into this in honor of Kim. We're going to have for a sure. good time. For sure. For sure. So originally you're from Chicago. South side. Yep. So tell us about Young Ivory. How was it growing up in Chi-Town? Uh, I know y'all hear a lot of bad stories about Chicago and they all true. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I had a good, you know, um, I grew up. I grew up all right. You know, I grew up in the hood, but, you know. We make the most out of what we have. So yeah. I love Chicago. Chicago's a great city. Shout out to Chicago. For sure. And you started writing, like you wrote your first song I heard when you were eight years old. Eight years old. Do you remember it? Yes. What's it I called? Do. do you love me too? <laughs> and look, check this out. Look, this is the story behind that. So like there's this there's this girl, she was a neighbor. Mm-hmm. And of course, there might you know, at the time she was like the one in the hood or whatever that everybody <laughs> wanted. Dude, I proposed to her with a ring pop, wrote her a song. How'd it go? She, she said no. How'd the song go? I don't remember. She said I don't remember so she Shit. said no. Uh, but she, she, said, she no. said yeah, she's like, this was a song. She said no. I bet she like, right now, she like, damn. <laughs> right. I had like, one. Ivory Scott. Where he at? How he doing? <laughs> He's doing well. Yeah. She said yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Because not only can he sing, he also plays instruments. Yeah, yeah. Play instruments. How many instruments do you play? Let us let the people know. I play guitar. Piano, self taught. Mm. I'm about to say, are you self taught? Self taught. Did, did you like start taking lessons, or you just were self taught the whole time? I I just I always was self taught. Like I started off uh, playing. Like my first song I ever learned was Fairy Lease. Mm. Um, but um, yeah, like I, I taught myself. That's dope. Yeah. I like that. Naturally talented. So when did you realize like you wanted to do music? Was it when you were around eight years old, or like you said? Honestly, like, I don't remember when I realized it. Mm-hmm. Like it's just kind of like always been a part of my life. Like uh-huh. I played football, you know. I you know I did a lot of other things other than music, but music has just always been like somewhere yeah. every every at every point in my life. I feel like. What about how did you get into it like professionally? Like what was your break in? <sighs> so I um nothing it, too crazy, you know, just like yeah, yeah, I ain't gonna go too crazy, but pretty much I um. I met Ray Daniels, um, took a meeting with Ray Daniels, and pretty much he was like, you know, give me a little bit of time, and I'm going to change your life. You know what I'm saying? He actually, the first day I met him, um, he wrote me a check for 20 grand. Really? And he was like, look, just give me a little bit of time. It's It's a long story behind that story, but he took me to Mike Karen. That's where I got my first publishing deal, and like... Everything just kind of been like flowing for me. That's what Ever since my about. sister passed away, to be honest with you. She's been with you. That's what you call it. Like, I be feeling like faith. it, honestly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I be feeling like it for so real. So just sit back, I got you. We're going we gonna to get like there. She's nudging so God. Like, I love that. I on this one for me. Uh huh. Yeah, it's blessing. You, you could tell you've had good people in your corner just kind of like set you up for success. For so. sure. Was that, was he one of your biggest influences or like who were your influences like coming up? 
Mm, you mean like in the business? In the business, music, Dude. and like artistry. Well, I, I emailed Mike Karen like three years before they signed me. Really? Yes, like, because I always knew that like he was like right in the midst of like the top songwriters in the uh-huh. game. So I always knew that like APG was like where I wanted to be if I ever published with anybody. But um, I don't know. So like I, football is really public. That's fire. Yeah. Well, listen, to the people out there that don't know who Ivory Scott is, you do know, <laughs> though. Because sure. you've written for some fire people. For sure. Like, your your favorite songs are from his pen. So, for sure. I'll let you take the floor, let the people know, what have you done for these people in this industry? Yeah. Well, you know, I've written a lot of big songs uh, for the past couple of years. I wrote Peru for Fireboy and Ed Sheeran. Um, I wrote The Baddest, uh, Chris Brown and Young Blue. Um, I've worked with Beyonce. I've written songs for Madonna. Um, I mean, the list is honestly crazy. Like, in Super Broad, like, I've written songs with Lil Durk, uh, Trippy Red, Polo G. Like, it's stacked for real. But, you know, it's just, I'm, I'm blessed. You are. I'm blessed for sure. Blessed and highly talented. That's why you're left sure. hand. You know they say left handed left handed people got the got it's the, the cheat code. They got the I honestly <laughs> feel like I feel like a favor. I feel like God favored me for real, for real. Absolutely. Yeah. I love that. Hey. Yeah. So listen. That's hard. Listen, listen, listen. So that's gonna be our next level game. I know I'm gonna catch you off guard, but oh, it's okay. okay. That's what the sound was. <laughs> Oh that's what the God. sound was. So that sound is the sound of our challenge. We like to call Level Up. Right. And every time you hear this sound, Ivory, I'm going to give you a Level Up challenge. Bet. And if you pass each one, it's going to be three of them. Uh-huh. If you pass each one, one of your fans will win a prize. Yeah, definitely finna win. So. You got to win. It's not going to be too hard or yeah. nothing. All right? All right. So if you had to choose one, mm-hmm. what would you choose? Open enough for Jimi Hendrix at his concert or write a song for Maverick City? Open it for Jimi. Open it for Jimmy Hendrix. Yeah. That's legendary. Yeah, can't can't sure. really go wrong I mean, with that one. On. That was easy. That was easy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, I love Maverick City though. Yeah, no shade. But, it's yeah. with love. I'm but sure I mean, it would be mad at me. You know, it's with yeah. love. So I know you're a great writer. You're a great singer. We're gonna get into all of that. But what was your first um what was your first placement actually? Mm. Damn. I had a hundred placements last year. Really? So like it's hard to remember like the first. Do you have any flowers to give you? Like what the hell? Just... Yeah, a lot. But like, it's hard to remember the first. I think it was like. What was your what Rico was your... Nasty? I think Rico ah, Nasty was probably like my Nasty. first. And Sabrina Claudia. Oh, let's see. You got a range. Yeah. Damn. Range is crazy. Range is crazy. Damn. All right. You got me throwing off a little bit. But because you got so many songs and you probably got like a bunch of them on the radio. But um, what was your first song you heard on the radio? Mm, first song on the radio was, was was actually my song with uh, me, Hitmaker and Fabulous, Down Bad. Down Bad. Yeah. And it was actually the first song I was ever featured on as an artist. Period. Shout out my brother, Hitmaker. Shout out to my brother, Hitmaker. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, How was, what was that feeling like being, you know, having your first big, big record going crazy like this? Man, I don't know. Like, I feel like when you're in the midst of, mm-hmm. you know, what's going on, it's hard to, like, kind of take it all in. Like, people, like, coming to me like, yo, dude, you wrote this or you, wrote, you worked on this. And it's like, it's super normal when you're yeah. in it. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure, like, later I'll be like, damn, I really went crazy. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, but right now I'm so deep in it. I'm. I'm locked in. I'm not looking at none of them. Yeah, none of you the trophies right now. Peru. Peru. It's a big one. It just went platinum. That's Congratulations. Big, appreciate it. I'll say, how does it feel? But you say you're in it. So, like. Yeah, oh, that one feels good for sure. Like, man, like, shout out Happy at Empire. He, uh, Empire, Tina Davis, brought me out to work with Fireboy. I didn't even know who Fireboy was at the time. Oh. And, um,. I don't know. It was just like a magic moment, man. It was like literally like a Nigerian party, bro, in the studio when we made that record. I can imagine. We knew that record was out of here. Mm, I can imagine. Yeah. What do you do to celebrate these things? You just you just keep it pushing? I'm super like I love it. offy and like, mm-hmm. I'd rather like build a car or do some shit like that. Yeah, we're yeah. going to get into that. I know yeah. y'all are probably like, what does he mean he builds cars? We're going to get into that. I'm not going to let yeah, you spoil okay. it. I'm not going to spoil it. Because we got to get into this single you have. It's called Just Like Me, yeah. y'all. It's coming. It's out. It's 
out. Video, everything. Congratulations. Finally. I'm like, so excited. You don't know how long you we've been holding this baby. Like, how many sessions I've been in with different artists that, like, wanted this record. And, like, really? we've all, me and Hit always said, nah, that's for you. How does it feel? How does it feel? Your official is, is really happening for you as an as an independent artist. You're not playing the back yeah. of being like, yo, here's a fire ass song. It's like these are your songs. Now. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, it feel good. It honestly feels good. Like it feels like taking a deep breath. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? Like it's like when you like as a songwriter, when you're writing songs, you have to tap into the artist. Right. Right. So that means in order for me to tap into a role, I gotta you know, separate from myself yeah. and become like what they own. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when you come out as who you are, yeah. it's like, what can you do? We make it magic. What can you do? And you're working with Eric Bellinger on this, on this track. My brother. Yeah, we got, we got hits together before the song. Nice. Already. So that was easy. That was, yes, easy, that was easy. That was super easy. Shout out to Eric Bellinger. My brother. You know Listen, how we come. Listen, y'all. I'm going to just... Shameless plug. Oh, we got the videos out. You might see somebody in yeah. there that you recognize or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but how was it, though? How was the visualizer? It was a movie. It was, it was a, a movie. movie. It was a movie. What was the inspiration? Because for me, it's giving, like, coming to America. Definitely, was that, that was the inspiration. Was that the inspiration? For sure, for sure. Spot on. Was it easy to come up with that? Or, like, how did you come up with the, um, with the inspo? I can't even take too much credit. Like, I kind of had the idea, but my manager, Naya, kind of was like, what if you do the idea from coming to America, speed dating? And I was just like, I'm glad I thought of that. But, <laughs> <laughs> but nah, it was, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was it, like, one thing about me, like, I love funny shit. Like, my favorite TV show is The Office. Uh -huh. I love dry humor. Yes, like, yes. so I like to have a good time, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's fun. It's, it's definitely a, a vibe. Yeah, it was like, a vibe. It was a good time. Yeah, it was sure. a good time doing that. Sure. Like, you know, getting, First, the mini your, visuals, though. Yeah. Getting your shocker. You was in that. <laughs> it was your moment. But no, you are a wild boy because yeah. you were one of the dates. Yeah, you were man. one of the dates. I ain't what gonna lie, too. Like, <laughs> I just, you know, honestly, I saw, I watched the, um, I watched I watched the 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 movie again, uh -huh. and then I saw that Arsenio Hall did it. Uh huh. And I was like, Why not? I'm I'm secure with who I uh -huh, am. Uh -huh. You know, I ain't auntie. You know, <laughs> he was auntie, but you not auntie. <laughs> Bro, I was you auntie. Me off guard. <laughs> yeah. So. Man, but I mean, you got to be creative. You got to be, you know, tapped into your artistry, like you said. Yeah, you want I'm people to, to do whatever you. for the art. Like, yeah. It's like. It's, it's me, but it's not me. You know mm -hmm, what I'm saying? When mm -hmm. I give it out to the world, it's for y'all to do whatever y'all want yeah. to do with it. I love it. I like how creative you are. And make sure y'all go stream Just Like Me, available Please on all up. platforms. Go. go check out the Speed video. Get y'all a little laughing. Get y'all a little laughing. <laughs> Here we go. Let's okay, go. number two. Let's go, Challenge man. number two. You're running a little late. Listen, listen. All right, so what's one toxic trait that you have that your significant other can't have. Like, they can't be just like you on this one. Damn. Mm -hmm. Be honest. Toxic trait. Toxic Damn, trait. Damn. I, mm -hmm. I, wanna, I don't know. Like, I'm fairly, I'm fair. What's one of your things? All right, all right. I'm all fair. Right, like, I feel right. like if I do it, you can do it. Like, like I'm fair. Like, I don't feel like I'm like, you don't nah, snore? You that's a toxic trait. That's you a, you can't, I definitely snore, but it's like, <laughs> but you can't snore. How can you control it though? <laughs> Listen, I'll be telling people the same thing. Like, Damn, you be like, it. wake up. Listen, put a little, put that um, that little strip on your nose. Bro, that shit yeah, work. I heard it does. You don't have to. But that's good though. I like that you don't got no toxic yeah, traits. Listen, I, I, you could be just like him, and he's not gonna yeah. care. So that's just fine. Live your life. <laughs> but being an artist now, um, are you open to other people writing songs for you, or like, do you want to just continue to write your own stuff? Or are you kind of like getting more open with this? I feel like as a as an artist, the the songs that I write are so personal to me mm -hmm. that no, I'm not saying I'm not interested in having other writers. Like on my project, there are other writers that have help me out people that I work with yeah. you know some of the producers might help me write mm -hmm. um, so I'm not like that's not off the table mm -hmm. but like most of my lyrics are very personal most of my songs are very personal okay. and I just feel like 
it's just the era for that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, for somebody to be speaking, like, for themselves. I love that. Yeah. Um, but but I, I am open, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you got you got the pen game, so you could really do it all yourself sure. if you really wanted to. So when it comes to you as a new artist, Ivory Scott, what do you want your fans to take away? Like, what do you want them to know about you as, like, being a new artist? I'm, I'm organic. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just coming raw. Like, mm -hmm. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to, like, we was talking earlier about all the things that I put my hands in. Like, yeah. I, I'm open. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm an open canvas. Like, I'm not trying to, like, be no one else but myself. Like, yeah. and, I, and I feel like I'm missing, you know what I'm saying, in the business. Yeah. What's something that you feel like you're adding to the business? Like, what's something that um that you feel like you're bringing to the table? I mean, like, like we just talked about, like, the genre, the different genres of music that I work in. Definitely. So imagine an artist that can not just be an R&B artist, a rap, hip-hop, pop, rock, whatever, and you just mush that all together, and what would you get? I'm, I'm everything. Like, I'm every genre. I love that. I'll be the first artist to have a number one in every genre. You know what I'm saying? I love it. Like that. So you got an album coming? That's what's different. Yeah. It's called Ebony. You know? <laughs> Listen, I just want to just... We did put not it, do this shit on earth. I just want to... I just want to say on the record, thank you for you know, using me as inspiration. You didn't have to do that. Now you got the MDA? You didn't have to do that. Oh, yeah. But I appreciate it. Listen, y'all. When you, when you tap there, you might get an album named after you. And be in the first visual. <laughs> And being in the first visual, it's divine timing. What for can sure, I say? Sure. It was time. <laughs> no, but let's get into this unique fact about you: that you are an architect. Yeah. You enjoy building cars, houses. Yeah, like everything. What, how did like how did you get into it? And if you weren't doing music, would you be pursuing that full time? Um, yes. Um, that's fine. Well, I mean, okay, so I don't like. I never want to try to say I have a plan B or anything like that. But, um, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. I love, like, building shit. Like, I could build this room where, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, like my dad told me, like, a long time ago, you know, I, I called him. I was like, yo, dad, I need, like, $250. Mm -hmm. He was like, son, look down at your hands. Everything you need is down there in your hands. You know, use your hands to be able to feed yourself. Wow. So I've never, like, allowed anything to obstruct me from... Being able to create, being able to take care of myself. I so I'm, I'm willing to do any damn thing. So yeah. construction just happened to be one of those things that I got good at. Mm -hmm. But I'm willing to do whatever. I worked at Red Lobster. <laughs> you know what I mean? Biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I'm, <laughs> but no I'm, I'm willing to do whatever. So That's fire. Yeah. Listen. For the people out there, you already heard it first. I'm gonna ask you the question, but you pretty much said what it what okay. needs to be said for the people that are like scared, that are um, you know, insp inspired by you. What yeah. encouraging words do you have for people out there that wanna do what you're doing? Run, don't give up, hmm. chase. You know, you gotta be willing to have nothing to want everything to yeah. have everything. You know what I'm saying? I like, love that. And like, so like, you gotta be willing to put it all on the table. Like, keep going. Like. You one moment away. Yeah. That's, you know, that's really what we all are. Like, we really just one moment away from our life going into the direction that we dream of. We just got to keep running in that direction. Absolutely. And this is just me running in this direction. Doing your thing at that. For sure. And like he said, before you ask somebody for something, look down at your own hands and get that work done. Yeah, yeah, you, you got to do it. I love that. Plus, a woman loves a manly man. Don't she? Listen, that's our last one. Level I'm, up I'm challenge number right three. Okay. Have I got all these right so far? Yeah, just your answers. You're doing good. You just got to answer them. If you like plead the fifth or something, you're, you're about they to not win. getting it. All right. So in your song, you mentioned your shorty chasing bank rolls and free calls. <laughs> so yeah. would you rather your girl be in her bag, bringing something to the table? She got her shit going on, but she's not a freak. For or, sure. Okay. Like, <laughs> okay. Or a girl that's super freaked out and can please you, but she brings nothing to the table. Mm. I like substance, you know? Mm -hmm. I like them freaky too, but I like substance, you know? I like somebody that I could build with, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I feel like if you ain't got nobody that you can build with, what, are we what doing? you doing? Exactly. You know? Like, so I think that that's what it's about. Like, 
like it's all teachable but for sure for sure having your shit together ain't te- you're really still teachable so you got yeah. your shit together we can work we can yeah, do something yeah we can figure some shit out <laughs> Well, thank you for coming through the Sky Lounge. Yeah, I had sure. a good time. Yeah, me too. Thank you for playing these games with me. Let everybody know where they can reach out to you, where they can catch up, where they can keep up with you. I'm everywhere, and I'm never there. Which now, is- follow me on... <laughs> <laughs> everywhere but nowhere. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Nah, look, you can follow me on Instagram at I am Ivy Scott. Google me, whatever, DM me. Ch- check out his bio. Check out mm. my bio. Check out his bio, Check y'all. Bio. His bio is stacked. He's doing his thing. Make sure y'all go yeah, stream. Sure. Just like me, make sure y'all go stream down bad. It's Please. available on all platforms. And make yeah. sure you follow me. I'm Ebony Francis. That's Ebony with the Y. Ebony. Francis with an I. Yeah. Ebony and Ivory. This is not a game. For sure. Just this like, is like, I don't know. It's just like, the peak. It's just the peak. Sorry for everybody. <laughs> I hope y'all not tired of us because we're just getting started. So DM us if y'all want to see any more amazing artists here in the Sky Lounge. And as always, stay locked in. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Let me know who else y'all want to see out here. And as always, be safe. 